so the first question that we had was, what interests you most about the Chicano culture? And in, in what way does it influence your writing? Uh, I grew up in the South, in Memphis, and uh, I was involved in uh, the civil rights movement sort of obliquely. Mm -hmm. I did march with Martin Luther King in Memphis and came to understand have an affinity, I guess is the word, for uh, uh, Chicano culture, uh, and it would just it just seemed natural. Uh, it seemed natural to them, seemed natural to us, and and so we felt uh, felt uh, sort of at one with all that. But, you know, El Paso is a much different place from the rest of the world. It's really a very very unique place. So I tell people um, that when I first moved here was sort of romantic. It seemed like almost a foreign place. People speaking Spanish in the streets and, mm -hmm. and you know, people, it's a different culture than I'm used to. And so, and then, and so I felt just sort of like, oh, this is really interesting. How, how does being a writer affect running Cinco Puntos Press? If at oh. oh, it does. It, it, it does. Uh, I'll, uh, two o'clock, booze. Two o'clock. I apologize. It's okay. Uh, uh, being a writer, um, first off, it, it, you know, if you're an independent publisher, you know, uh -huh. and, and, and I think we tell people that being an uh, independent publishing is, is like writing. It's an act of self-discovery. And as a, as a writer, you know, we already had friends uh, that were writers. Uh, we, you know, the first people we published uh, were all uh, uh, close friends. We published uh, Dagoberto Gill, we published uh, Joseph Samosa, we published uh, Joe Hayes, the storyteller. We made uh, friends first through uh, our intellectual uh, uh, curiosity. It's not, it's not only a matter of uh, friendship, it's a matter of uh, aesthetics. You know, you, you, because of what you write, you like certain stuff. You like certain sort of material. Um. I know you have had a poem published in Literary El Paso. Uh -huh. And uh, there's always been a saying that I've thought of that says um, there's always two meanings behind a writing, which is uh -huh. the, the meaning of the writer and the meaning of the reader. Uh, can you go into a little bit more detail about your poem? Let's do the gavachos in the photograph. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'll tell you about the poem. This is called the Gavachos in the Photograph, and so when they pub when I published the poem in the book, in my book, which I don't see right here, uh, it was a picture of Lee and I, you know the Kentucky Club? Mm -hmm. And right next to the Kentucky Club is Martino's, or two doors down. Mm -hmm. because, you know, the, 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 the uh, translation of Gavacho is, is like gringo, mm -hmm. you know that. And um, it's a French word, meaning actually foreigner. It comes okay. from a French word, you know, Gavachin or something. And um, so I wrote it at that period of time where I, I was coming to understand that I belonged in El Paso and it belonged on the border and had become, in fact, a fronterizo. Um, and we used to drop, go back and forth. So that poem was essentially about. Uh, about that, the Gavachos and the photograph, about sitting there at this um, restaurant and this guy Moises Dos, who used to serve us uh, uh, martinis, he was just like the most elegant waiter in the world. I mean, he was just a wonderful guy. And he would come and he would have the, the bottle of gin and the bottle of vermouth and the ice and everything. And he would have, he was a little guy, he looked like Peter Laurie, and he would mix this these martinis uh, without ever putting the tray down. He would mix them on his, up here like this and shake and then he would shake them. And then he would pour them, he would shake them in the ice and then when he'd pour them into the two martini glasses, he would pour them and they always came exactly to the top, even at the, after he shook out the last little bit. It was like the most amazing thing in the world. It was just like a, it was like a wonderful thing. The, the poem for me, is an experience of love, not only for my wife, but for my whole life and for, uh, and for the place I lived.
It's another Gavacho couple is sitting in that booth tonight. They are looking out the window at the Indian children with the large black eyes. And they are afraid of what they see in that confusion. Give them a quarter, mister. Give them a dollar. Give them back the secret places in the mountains where that spirit thrives. That's what I always want to do, to give away something to make myself whole. But it seems so impossible even to give something to myself. At least I feel like I'm at home now, here in El Paso, walking back and forth across the bridge. And I'm hoping to find enough riches in my pocket to cure some of the ache in my heart. This is my prayer. May God grant us all love and a little bit of peace on Avenida Wallace.